2017 Infiniti QX60 odd. A value if not exactly thrilling. Highs and lows. Highs. Spacious inside, inoffensive CVT, handsome styling. Lows. Overboosted steering, underwhelming interior. Specifications. Vehicle type. Front engine, all-wheel drive, 7-passenger, 4-door hatchback. Price as tested. $60,545, base price, $45,895. Engine type. Dosi 24 valve V6, aluminum block and heads, direct fuel injection. Displacement. 213 cu in, 3498 cubic centimeters. Power, 295 hp at 6400 rpm. Torque, 270 lbft at 4800 rpm. Transmission. Continuously variable automatic with manual shifting mode. Dimensions. Wheelbase, 114.2 in. Length, 200.1 in. Width, 77.2 in height, 68.8 in. Passenger volume, 150 CU Ford. Cargo volume, 16 CU Ford. Curb weight, 4,654 pounds. C slash D test results. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 7.1 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 18.0 SEC. 0 to 120 miles per hour, 30.7 SEC. Rolling start, 5 to 60 miles per hour, 7.5 SEC. Top gear, 30 to 50 miles per hour, 3.8 SEC. Top gear, 50 to 70 miles per hour, 4.7 SEC. Standing 1 fourth mile, 15.5 SEC at 93 miles per hour. Top speed, Governor Limited 120 miles per hour. Braking, 70 to 0 miles per hour, 177 feet. Road holding, 300 foot Dia skid pad asterisk, 0.79 grams. Asterisk stability control inhibited. Fuel economy. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 22 slash 19 slash 26 mpg. C slash D observed, 20 mpg. For the second year in a row, Infiniti is making significant changes to its QX60 midsize luxury crossover SUV. Following last year's mid-cycle update that spruced up the QX60S Jellybean styling, lightly revised its interior, and improved the three-row crossover's chassis dynamics, Infiniti's massaged version of the Nissan Pathfinder enters the 2017 model year with a new 3.5-liter V6 engine under its contoured hood. Dubbed VQ35DD, the rejuvenated engine shares less than half of its parts with last year's V6. Horsepower is now rated at a stout 295, and torque rises to a healthy 270 lbft, gains of 30 and 22. A continuously variable automatic transmission again shuffles torque to the drive wheels, which are either the front two or, as in the example tested here, all four. Although we'd prefer a traditional planetary automatic, Infiniti's CVT is a generally agreeable unit that imitates step shifts when heavy throttle is applied so as to avoid engine droning. Furthermore, a dedicated manual mode gives the driver seven preset ratios to swap among, while a dial on the center console tunnel offers four driving modes, Standard, Sport, Snow, and Echo, the last of which engages Infiniti's intrusive Echo pedal on QX60S equipped with either the driver assistance package or as installed on our test car the deluxe technology package. The Echo pedal works by adding resistance to the throttle, thus discouraging the driver from exercising a heavy foot. We generally left the QX60 in the standard setting, 
although we occasionally switch to sport for its slightly sprightly or throttle response. Sport mode also brings a tendency to rev the engine past 3500 rpm, where there is indeed more power accompanied by noticeable coarseness. Debatable Dynamics At the track, the QX60S overhauled powertrain carried our 4654 pound test car to 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds, 100 miles per hour in 18.0 seconds, and through the quarter mile in 15.5 seconds at 93 mph gains of 0.7, 2.4 and 0.5 seconds compared with a 102 pound lighter, all-wheel drive 2013 Infiniti JX35 we previously tested. The QX60 was known as the JX35 before Infiniti changed the name for 2014 as part of a Q-based rebranding scheme for its entire lineup, passing power saw a similar improvement, with the QX60 S30 to 50 mph and 50 to 70 mph runs requiring just 3.8 and 4.7 seconds to complete, besting the earlier model by 0.5 and 0.2 second. In spite of the engine's additional grunt, EPA fuel economy remains unchanged at 19 mpg city and 26 mpg highway for QX60S equipped with all-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive models, however, see city fuel economy fall from 21 mpg to 20 mpg, while the highway rating stays unchanged at 27 mpg. No matter the drive wheels, Infiniti asks that you feed the QX60 premium fuel. We averaged 20 mpg during our time with the crossover, or 2 mpg short of the QX60 odds EPA combined rating. Last year's suspension tweaks marginally refine the crossover's handling. Body roll is less pronounced and overall grip is improved, with the QX60 recording 0.79 grams around our skid pad, 0.03 grams better than the 2013 JX35. Even better, Bringing the QX60 to a halt from 70 miles per hour required just 177 feet, 4 feet less than the old JX35. For comparison, a 397 pound lighter, all wheel drive Acura MDX circled our skid pad at 0.82 grams but required 185 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour. Still, the QX60 continues to prioritize comfort over dynamic prowess as the ride is marshmallow soft and steering effort is so light and overboosted that the wheel can be turned with a single finger a boon for navigating crowded parking lots but a drag on driver confidence when navigating twisty two-lane roads or crowded freeways. Further adding to the QX60S relaxed nature is a pair of soft and supportive seats for the driver and front passenger, and a spacious 60-40th split folding second row bench that slides, reclines, and can be tilted forward for third row access even with a child seat in place, albeit only on the 40 side. Step-in height is low, as is lift over height for the cargo area, accessed via a standard power rear lift gate that opens to reveal 16 cubic feet of luggage space with all seven seats in place. Meanwhile, the 50-50th split folding third row can be quickly and easily folded flat to elongate the cargo area. With 30.8 inches of rear legroom, the QX60S rearmost row is cramped but class competitive. Those seeking a roomier third row option should check out the Buick Enclave, which provides its rearmost riders with an additional 2.4 inches of legroom. You get what you pay for. Like its plebeian Nissan counterpart, the QX60 offers an experience that's marred by subpar interior materials. Crudely cut upper door panels, a hard plastic dashboard, and trim pieces plucked from the cheaper Pathfinder blemish the QX60's otherwise comfortable and sensible cabin that includes an easy-to-use, if button-heavy, infotainment system. Of course, with a starting price of $45,895 for the QX60 odd, a front-wheel drive QX60 costs $1,800 less, this Infiniti is one of the least expensive entries in its class, undercutting the cheapest all-wheel drive Buick Enclave by $795 and the base all-wheel drive Acura MDX by $995, 
and the QX60 comes in at $4,055 less than the four-cylinder Audi Q7 2.0 tons and $9,855 less than a six-cylinder Q7 3.0 tons. That being said, our loaded QX60 odd test car rang the register at a hefty $60,545 thanks to optional extras such as a $500 coat of majestic white paint and a quartet of packages, the $1,800 premium package, memory driver's seat, heated steering wheel, roof rails, and more, the $2,900 premium plus package, navigation, around view monitor, rain sensing wipers, and more, the $2,150 theater package, an 8.0-inch monitor in each front seat headrest, and the $7,300 deluxe technology package, adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, roof rail crossbars, 20-inch wheels, a motion-activated power lift gate, and a lot more. Nevertheless, the $46,400 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum Odd equipped with the family entertainment package is just as functional and versatile as its classier Infiniti Twin and happens to come with many although not all of the features highlighted on our QX60 Odd test vehicle. Ultimately, the QX60 sits between a rock and a hard place. Consumers who value high-quality digs can find plusher, albeit pricier, alternatives from a cotter of luxury automakers. At the same time, customers disinterested in brand prestige may be better off looking at less expensive, but similarly equipped, mainstream midsize crossover SUV alternatives.